artillery strike from long range. Anything that walks towards him is going to fall. And I think Hunbots brings just enough out of the jungle to get him there. Much appreciated, Finch. Dolson and Aggro on the call for game number one between Sanguine and SSG. And, and Aggro, I got to admit, I mean, my, my heart is being pulled two different directions in this one. My, my brain is being pulled in two different... And, and one thing I noted in, in picks and bans was the continued presence uh, of Merlin versus Raijin Hello. in the mid lane. But it's Raijin in the long lane this time, and he's going to fall for first blood as Netroid had too much damage. Sitting at only level one means that you don't have that jump to get away. And that's just so tough, especially with kind of how Finch was looking at it, where, where you want this Kuzumbo to be aggressive, but instead SSG under duress again. Perfect. Bodas already uses disengaged Netrioid in for the second time in two minutes. Second blood over to Sanguine. Man, that and then now get maybe a glimpse of what this lane will look like for the next few minutes. Vote can't even move himself forward. But I also seen like feel like we've seen a return to a lot of kills as well kind of stemming out of this long lane and maybe even one more no beads no dash no problem netrioid moves in for his third kill of the game keeping pace with a kill a minute yeah frankly i just don't think players are used to this level of something and i like this quite a bit put vote in the mid lane and just take him away from this cc chain but now phantoms here <laughs> wait yeah, now he just gets blinked on in the mid lane and he's gonna dash out the wrong use there, waiting, vote taken low, Panatom dashes through, four kills, all of them, on to vote. Talk about a rough He's early game here, here for this Raijin. That's embarrassing. Yeah, that's th th that just can't oh. be happening, really, alive, but that's still saying what forcing Space Station to make the play properly. Four yep. times this game, vote has not made that play properly, that time Dardes did. Well, Raffer blinked on, stunned down. Wrong, you might be the one in range to finish off the kill, but Panatom would like it on the Sircat, and he'll surely get it. That's five kills on the board, eight and a half minutes in for Sanguine, and that's the second for the Sanguine jungler. Panatom starting to hit some kills early as well. I don't know that Cherio knows he's been tracked. Now he does, hearing that ward behind him. And Rong Yu's here, but with no blink available, I don't think they're going to be able to... ...is going to be able to kill Shinto, because I, I don't know that you really can... He hasn't finished this third item yet. He's probably pretty close to that Soul Reaver, I'd imagine. As soon as he gets that, I think Sanguine should be pulling gold. Yeah, he's he's 10 gold off of finishing it. Probably wants to get to yep. 1620 for a century. As soon as he clears this mid wave, I, I want to see him back, spend that gold, and set up for Gold Fury, but might have just lost wrong. Wrong, you unfortunately taken low, and that's going to be SSG's first kill of this one. It goes to Raffer, but Dardes is able to find with the Kuzenbo ult and no kills as a result. Yeah, that, that like, it's a little surprised that that wasn't a kill right there. I don't think Shinto dropped enough damage right off the bat. I don't think they realized how squishy Rapper was because of the, the, the item lead that Sanguine has. Would have liked to see them all in commit to that a little bit earlier. Shinto's a little bit late on his purification beads there, which means he takes way more damage than he really wants to. Nika does have the World Serpent. He's going to be under duress. Might have to charge it. Here it is. A tier 1 tower dive. Instead, he's going to use his Aegis and never even attempts to use the ultimate. Panatom on a killing spree. Three kills in this game. Wow. But Cheerio looking for more. Will not find anything. And all of a sudden done. Sanguine at least grabbed themselves one Yarkor. Pulls tower aggro. Cheerio turns oh. around to kill. They're not going to finish it off. Sanguine, they give one right on back as Cheerio snags his first kill of the game. And Yarkor is in a Wait, world he's got of trouble right now. Minions he's got to deal with. I don't know. He's got enough alt charge to full art Cherio. No. But yeah, <laughs> it's just going to be a sacred monkey. A little poop on the nose. He's going to finish off Yarkor. Now Netrioid in a bad spot. Netrioid has to airstrike away as well. It looked like Sanguine maybe had the right idea with a kill on Tanika. Give a couple back, but Space Station Gaming have found themselves an opening. Shinto stunned down, has to burn the Aegis, but it won't save him this time. Rapper for his second kill of the game, wrong you. A nice double knock up and dash away, but he's only underneath his tier one tower in this mid lane. Tower dive could be on with a full collapse. Wrong you blinks backwards, and it seems like for the moment that'll get him out alive. So it is a one for none on this left side skirmish. And want to try to re-engage, Nika will take to the World Serpent and find a couple knockups, but he just disengages to go back to the rest of SSG. Two ultimates down for SSG, almost five ready to go for Sanguine. Yarkor moves in, Sanguine wow. take away the Oni Fury. The engagement is back from Sanguine. Nika caught a bit in the middle, but they're too low to fully re-engage. Cherio agrees with that statement as well. He'll leap out, but Dardes finds the kill on the Shinto. 
You lose the fury, but you might win the fight. It's a one for none, but Sanguine take the fury away. That's That's right. Fury stolen away. These are two teams that, that just don't have great objective secure. Now, Sanguine's got great objective burn because of Merlin, especially with that Sphere of the Magus, which yep. really is there to help on objectives more than the other players. Engagement onto Dardes, who has to leap away, but Panatom is there to apply a little bit of poison. The Aegis is up, and it won't be enough to save his life. Panatom has found a kill onto the SSG Hunter. Boat is going to make his way out, has to use the disengage, but Yarkor is right there to follow up. Two kills so far for Sanguine. They're going to want some extra. Nika just slithers away thanks to that World Serpent. It's a two for none. Sanguine maybe now turn their eyes towards the FG. Such a perfect engage by Sanguine. It's all wrong, you man. I mean, he finds the he finds Dardes through the trees and then is able to get on top of Boat with that ult. Hey, it's easier to secure the Fire Giant if no one is left alive to steal it away from you. Raffer overstays this one a little bit too long. You're no longer a welcome guest, say Sanguine. Nika, no World Serpent to get out alive. Four members ultimately fall now for SSG, and the Fire Giant will be restarted once again, but Cherio is hanging close by. Got that ultimate coming up soon. Blink still available as well, but he's getting hunted. Right now by Yarkor and Panatom. Cherio's trying to make the hero play, but won't even get a chance to use it. Easy Fire Giant for Sanguine. And I want to point out, after this, go get this Tier 2, go to Gold Fury, get that Primal Fury down, and and then reset for another Firefight? Or are they going to try and push for a Phoenix without spending any of this gold? I think it's a pretty tough call. I think the, safe, I mean, the safer call, no doubt, is that they just back and spend this gold and, and try and win a fight straight up. Yeah, safe is going by the wayside here as Rongyu has blinked underneath the right side tier 2 tower this time. Methodical maybe from Sanguine just to clear the map of all towers. Panatom has found Darnes again, but the actives will save the hunter's life just for a moment. Panatom gets taken down a little bit low, and Yarkor has moved himself into the mid game. The rest of Sanguine just chipping away at this tower. Rapper doing his best to play separator and has actually dragged one back, but Rongyu dashes out. Shinto finishes off the kill onto the SSG Guardian. Nika takes to the ground, and ultimately it is a tier 2 tower and one kill for Sanguine, and some springs from the earth once again. Sanguine have secured the one and only Fire Giant so far in this game, and for the moment, even potentially just looking for a fight, they do have enough damage. They have started the Fire Giant, Sanguine have, so they're going to send Rongyu and Yarkor forward just to play zone. As, it's like Netrioid is just going to try to solo this thing all on his own. Cherio realizing this moves his way in. Yarkor knocks up Cherio. Down goes to Fear No Evil, but it's only caught onto one. Rapper taken low. Fire Giant reset. Penatom, okay. Rapper goes down to four versus five. And they're looking for the re-engage. Rongyu has brought Sanguine back into the fray. It's a double kill now for Penatom. Three members left screaming from SSG. Yarkor knocks down Dardes. Might even find himself a double. Cherio, no fear, no evil, a double kill for Yarkor, a double kill for Panatom, and Aggro, I think that might just be the game. Five for zero, and Sanguine doesn't even break a sweat. Shito just waiting for the boys to take care of the Phoenix for him. But man, what an impressive game from Sanguine. I think that they, they lost themselves in the mid game a little bit, but for my money, Sanguine is really good at this stage of the game. I think they're great in the five-on-five -five team. Hard to do, however. Rapper on this Kuzumo is telling me that it doesn't matter that last game didn't start off too well. Kuzumo is a god that you pick and you want to run with him from the minute one. He has to get this lead. A, a, a Kuzumo from behind isn't a Kuzumo. So I imagine we see some more aggressive play coming out of the early. The SSG have the ability to change. Swing first in this early game. Get some momentum going for their side. I am curious, though, Sanguine, aside from the Susano, have been able to run back their game. But it, it's just that Rongyu did so much that it, it's taking it away and, and you're not losing a whole lot on your side, right? That, that That's the big thing for me. Oh, there is a dash forward knock up from Netrioid on to vote. The final shot is there. You've got to be kidding me. They've done it again. First blood two minutes in, Netrioid right onto the board. Mentioning, I brought up Dardes a little bit in that mid lane after Dighty. Uh, she's been a pick that a lot of pros and a lot of people in the community have talked about. Cheerio has found a gank. Pow Pow looking for a chain on an Etrioid. That one does connect, but the beads used by the Sanguine Hunter will keep him alive under the duress of a jungle gank. Panatom is here, will pull back Cheerio. 
Dash maybe still on cooldown from Shirio. Down he goes, Netrioid's second kill in the game. Four and a half minutes in, a little bit slower, but kills are flowing just the same. Arthur look pretty darn good, and SSG are gonna think that this Oni Fury looks pretty good, and they're gonna take it away. Nobody from Sanguine one more time in range to contest on the Fury. Panatom was looking for a pullback, connects just onto the wall there, and now suddenly Space Station Gaming have found an opening to fight. Panatom deleted by vote. Nika has found the World Serpent as well. One more crash down onto Netrioid, but the Aegis is used. Not sure the damage was there from Nika anyway. It's a two-front fight here as Yarkor has found a couple of the squishy members of Space Station Gaming, and he's doing a pretty good job Ooh. of locking a few of them in. The pullback from Shinto is gonna set up a kill for Yarkor. Then Sanguine want more, that's the ultimate. Down onto Dardes, Rongyu is here playing frontline. It's a two-man show for Sanguine as the escape is back from SSG. Watch out, Shinto in on the rotation. Could be a big difference maker here. Beads by Vote will prevent him from being pulled back through. He's gonna plug away some good damage. Sanguine, two members back on the back pedal. Yarkor still in the <laughs> thick of things. No kills just yet, you gotta be kidding me. Pyromancer on the opposite side of the map. Locked down, Nika beneath his tier one tower. Wrong you dashes away. Oh my goodness, how there are no kills in that engagement. I couldn't tell you. Yarkor was in that flow state for sure. After his Hydras and his Arendite, and this is going to allow him to, to immediately get value out of that ultimate again as soon as it's up, knowing that Shinto has no beats. I'll talk about a respawning objective that Sanguine can secure. The Fury is certainly one of them. Nice double knock up there from Panatom. Sanguine knocks down the Primal Fury. Yarkor right back into the thick of things. This time results in an easy kill. Down onto Cherio, whose ultimate had just respawned. Nika down through that World Serpent. Will jump himself up and down, but Rapper knocked down by Shinto. It's a two for none and a Fury for Sanguine. It's just that Sanguine feels like they're breaking all the unwritten like, so many SPL teams would be saying, okay, well, we're on fire because Netroid can try and solo it so that everyone else can do the damage and poke you out. And then you go, oh, well, fire's already half. We really can't get in there since we are at half HP. But the Aphrodite is keeping them up and healthy. Even though they got two picks there, it wasn't enough. Frapper engaged upon by Rongyu this time, and he has found Netroid, who's going to... We air strike away from this one. Thorns popped by a rapper just to extend his life a little bit. Panatom not too worried and will send the Typhoon ripping through. Rapper knocked down. Thorns will not save your life this time. A five versus four advantage as Fire Giant is eyed. This time Netroid's got some help to try and pull it, but still four members of Space Station here. Cherio has that ult. Panatom did blink forward there, looked for the engagement onto Cherio. Alau could move in. Fire Giant down to half health. Cherio finds his way into the back line. Will look to chain a few. Has caught a couple. Nika as well. World Serpent in. Rongyu's gonna try to pull himself out of this fight, and we are a bit divided here as Rongyu knocked up in the air as Nika's final charge rings out onto the support of Sanguine, but Yarkor instead knocks down Cherio, and Netrioid is just gonna swing away. Nika trying to escape, but too much crit for Netrioid. Two members down for SSG, and maybe now the Fire Giant will get taken down. Yarkor has just been unstoppable on this King Arthur, man. No one's been able to get away from him, and now Vote is going to try his hand at it, and what do you know, doesn't succeed again. Just, ever, just so much space created by Yarkor in this game, and, and he's always dealing with already down below half, and this one's enhanced, so it's even stronger than the last. This one still getting chipped away by Netrioid, and he actually pulls himself off just for a moment, so Fire Giant not fully healed, but back to half. Down beneath half it ticks, but Rongyu has found an opening to blink into the back line of Space Station Gaming. Raffer's having none of it. Sanguine takes the FG, and that's all thanks to Netrioid and some good zoning. It's a mirror image of game one. The dropship is in, into the back line of Space Station Gaming. Cherio separated from the rest of his team, and Nika will World Serpent his way down onto Yarkor. Four members of Sanguine, they're looking at Cherio, and they get him. Nika trembles a few, but you're not getting out of this one alive. A double kill from Shinto, five members strong with the Fire Giant, Sanguine. They're eye in the top of the standings. This is looking clean so far for Sanguine. Netrioid, plenty healthy. Shinto a little bit poked, but still has those relics up. I don't think Sanguine need to worry about anything with the Titan here. 
It's a three-man defense, two of the carries, and a guardian. Rapper down. See you later, Dardes. See you later, Rapper. Both the last man standing, but it's not going to matter. Titan taken down. Sanguine in 2-0 fashion will knock SSG down a peg and remain tied at the top with Radiance. Okay, guys, it's week one. Sanguine only beat.